What's going on guys? Welcome to the 11th Pi Game tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about how we can move our uh, square up and down now. So if you haven't been able to guess, it's pretty simple. We basically do this sort of event handling only for Y. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, do that now. So we've got lead X change and we're going to go ahead and add a lead underscore Y underscore change. And obviously, again, that starts with a zero. Now, eventually, what we'll probably do is we'll load the game, and we'll probably be making Y change 10 or something, just, just so the game starts with the snake moving. But for now, we'll just leave it as zero. Now, um, we've got this event type here, right? So this was a key down event. Um, we basically need the exact same event handling, only... Um, only for key up and key down. So we can really just take this, copy, and come down here and paste. Now, just as an aside, I'm noticing that we have like many if statements here. Um, here, you might have multiple events, but a key down event, um, you I suppose you could have over and P for pause or something at the same time. But with, with snake, we, we can't move diagonally, so there's never going to be a time where it's like up and over or something like that. So it's probably best to use LF here. So if, LF, and then LF, and LF. Now, for, in all reality, every, most of the computers running this game are going to be able to run this, whether or not we use ifs or LF. Um, and if you don't really know, the idea of LIF is so we don't have to run every single if statement. So if this if statement is true, these won't even ask. They won't even run these if statements. But And say, like, this one's false, but this one's true. Well, then these two if statements, will or LIF statements, so, uh, but really the if part of them, won't run. So it's like the meshing of an, an if and an else. So it saves a little bit of processing by not doing it. Now, again, if you're running this on your home computer, you're probably not going to have a problem. Now, if you're trying to run this game on like a cell phone or something else with, you know, 200 to 500 megs of RAM or something, like it might be a problem um, if you were using if statements. But you probably won't notice any major difference between the two, but just keep those in mind. Um, obviously, though, if you're playing some sort of game, like for example, like if you're playing a first-person shooter, a lot of times you kind of you crouch and you move or something at the same time, or you move and you shoot at the same time. So you can't be using LF statements for every single event because people are pushing, or there's more than one event happening at any given time, or anyway, more than one key down event rather. So anyway, we're going to use LF, but you can use if LF. It really doesn't matter, probably at the end of the day. So. Uh, these are the ones that we want to change. So we're going to change this to up and then this one to down. Now, um, this will change to Y and then this to Y. And that should be it. But you're going to see that we actually have to make a, a couple more edits here when we go to run this. But let's run it first and see what happens. So here's our game, Slither. We can move left, right, no problem. But when we go up, Oh, it doesn't even work. <laughs> oh, for whatever. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Let me go back. I know what we forgot. <laughs> um, what we have to do is we have to come down here and we go uh, lead underscore y plus equals lead underscore y underscore change. We forgot to do that, but we also we're gonna have another problem. But I didn't get to show you guys. So over and up, and now you see we move like diagonally and there's really no way to get out of this diagonal movement once you've gotten into it now I must admit this is kind of an interesting way to play snake um, I bet this is actually a much more challenging way to play snake really because you have to like line up the diagonals um, I'm kind of tempted to force this back into the game at some point so we can try to play snake like this um, I think that'll be quite interesting uh, so we'll have to do that at some point but the traditional snake game does not allow for the, something like that to occur. So what's happening? Well, what happens is we're only changing one of the X's or Y's, and that leaves the other X or Y as whatever the value is. So once we've hit two key, or two variations rather, so once we've changed X and once we've changed Y, 
now they're both changing at the exact same time, so it gives the appearance of diagonal movement, even though it's really you know moving jagged like. But anyway, that's our problem. So now what we have to do is every time we change x or an x has been inputted, we need to come down here and affirm that lead y changes at zero again. So lead y change equals zero. Now for y change, we need to do lead x change equals zero. So lead x change equals zero, and then lead x change equals zero. So same thing as uh, before, we'll save and run. And now we have our uh, little character, he goes left and right, up, down, all of that. Now, obviously there's another problem. In Snake, you cannot go up and down like this. You have to turn like left, then down, then you know right, and then up, and then so you can do stuff like this. But you cannot go from straight to down. You'll run into yourself. Now, there's obviously a couple of options here. One is we can just straight up not allow. Um, like, say you're you've already you say you're currently using an X change or a Y change. Uh, you just simply cannot use the other one. So you could do that, or you can allow the user to use the other one, but slap them in the face when they do it. Um, and basically it causes a crash if they try to do that. So you have a couple of options there. Uh, probably down the road, I'll show you guys how we can actually just disallow the ability to just go like straight back up again. Um, but you can make up your mind on whether or not you want to do something like that. So that's it with moving like left, right, up, and down. We still have the issue of barriers, you know, like the sides of the window and all that. So we still have to address that. And obviously a bunch of other things. So stay tuned for the uh, rest of these uh, videos in Snake, and thanks for watching.